by God's mercy and grace, we have been learning, studying the Christian doctrine and uh, why the Christian doctrine is known. Uh, I don't think it's known, you know, in my case, I get more, should I say, mileage, more juice, more uh, benefits when I review it and see, oh wow, see what God is saying. So, by His grace, we started learning about the Christian doctrine from a few weeks ago uh, regarding uh, what God has designed for us all. So, in today's lesson, we want to go to the book of Titus or should we say the letter or the epistle to Titus, the pastor, Pastor Titus. We stopped last week at uh, chapter 3. And so we are going to take a little bit of chapter 3 and use that for today's lesson. All right, so let us um, continue. So by God's Holy Spirit's guidance, we will continue our studies on the Christian doctrine that our Lord Jesus Christ reminded us about in the book of Titus. By God's grace, we want to remind ourselves of the New Testament con uh, commandments that our Heavenly Father established for us to obey in addition to the Old Testament commandments there are also New Testament commandments it doesn't stop uh, there instructions, commandments, steps, statutes these are all instructions so let us recall that in the New Testament, the Apostle Paul wrote to Pastor Titus, encouraging him on how to teach the Christian doctrines to his congregation. As Christians, these instructions apply to all you and me. Here is God's word given to us by the Apostle Paul to the teacher, the pastor, Titus, chapter 3. I will read from verse 1 just to make it clear. We did go over 1 to 5 last week, but there are, if I may use the word, some juice some extra words, extra blessings, extra spiritual guidance that we need to review. And so that is why we want to uh, read it again. Uh, here is uh, the letter to Pastor Titus. Titus chapter 3, 1 and following says, Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work. Two, to speak evil of no man or woman, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men and women. Three, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse laws and pleasures, living 
in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. Amen. Titus chapter 3 verses 1 to 3. We can see from what we have just read that the instructions that the Apostle Paul wrote to Pastor Titus is very, very plain, very authoritative. It is something that is scriptural. It is something that, well, some of us, I'm saying every, around the world, some of us have forgotten. Let's look at verse 2 of what, what we just read. What did he say? It's a commandment. It's not an option or maybe. He says to speak. This is a commandment from the Apostle Paul to the Pastor Titus to remind his congregation, everyone, all Christians around the world, in the world. He says to speak evil of no, well, in here it says man, but to speak evil of no one as Christians. What are we doing? Don't we speak evil of our brother, sister, father, mother, relative, friends, even our enemies? God says, what did he say? To speak evil of no one, no man, no woman. So the question is, are we obeying this command or have we been obeying this commandment. If we want another translation, the other translation says, this is from the Amplified. I don't use the Amplified all the time. It's certain words are there that are helpful, but the uh, King James is what we use. Uh, uh, well, let's continue. The same verse which we read in the King James Version in the Amplified, same chapter 3, verse 2, says, To slander or abuse or speak evil of no one. Do we see it? Have we been paying obedience to this commandment? Uh, we have people who do things against us and we want to say things and do things against them and we God says to slander or abuse or speak of no no one so there must not be any excuse that because of this person did it that's no God says no of no one King James says to speak evil of no one the amplified is telling us to slander or abuse or speak evil of no one to avoid being contentious somebody does something to us and we're angry god says no to avoid being contentious if they want to argue let them argue. just peace peace behave peacefully do things peacefully without let them do whatever you just remain calm remain peaceful to be forbearing we are still in the uh, amplified version to be forbearing yielding you know allowing people to abuse us allow people to uh, deceive us, allow people to do anything gentle and conciliatory this is from the amplified bible and to show on qualified courtesy toward everybody everyone this is a commandment it's not an option it's not something that you will say uh, maybe i'll do it maybe i will it is god's commandment and as christians are we following the christian doctrine 
that God has given to us, may God help us so that truly we comply and obey and follow what God has said. Let's continue. Still in the Amplified Version of Titus chapter 3, verse 3 this time. For we also were once thoughtless and senseless, obstinate and disobedient, deluded and misled. We too were once slaves to all sorts of cravings and pleasures, wasting our days in malice and jealousy and envy, hateful hatred, deceive, de uh, detestable, and hating one another. Amen. This is from the Amplified Version of Titus chapter 3, verses 2 to 3. The question is, are we Well, are we, I want to use the word uh, guiltless of all these commandments from God. As Christian doctrine or godly doctrine, godly commandments, godly instructions from God, from Christ, how have you been doing? Are we obedient to these commandments? These are not options. And sometimes say, oh, well, because of what you did to me, that's why I'm not doing the same thing. And God says, no. Peace. When we have the peace of God in us, and somebody will slap or somebody will do all those things, and we remain peaceful. I know it may be difficult for some of us, but that's what God says. We should not retaliate. We should not say, because he did this or she did this, I won't talk to the person again. I won't do this again. I won't do it. All of these things are not Christian. These are the commandments from God. To speak evil of no man or woman. The Amplifier says, to slander or abuse or speak evil of no one. To avoid being contentious. Uh, if he doesn't do this, I wouldn't do this. This is not God's intention, God's command. It's not there. So may the Lord help us so that, yes, we are Christians. We are all agree. We know we've been Christians for, uh, you know, uh, 20 decades ago and all of that. And we are, we are super Christians, fine. But the question is that, are we obedient to God's commandments? The New Testament has commandments. We may think that, oh, only the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament. No. Commandments continues. And even more. So, we need to ask God to help us. So that when it comes to God's word, um, what, do we, what are we doing? Can we raise our hands and testify that as Christians we have been obedient to all of those commandments that we just read in Titus chapter 3? And if not, God is still available to forgive us God is still open to helping us. And so the commandments from God 
are meant so that we can show ourselves as better Christians, those who are really obedient to God's commandments. We all know, for example, let's just use a common uh, example that we know. When we see someone in a uniform, military uniform, we know already you know, this person is in this uh, you know, force. Is this or that, or she is this or that. The same way when we have people, even in, in workplaces, when they put on their uniform, you can recognize, oh, this person belongs to this and this. So we know and they have to comply with the instructions, the principles, the guidelines given to them. So we know that this can easily, oh, this person is this, this person is that. When it comes to Christian, what are we doing? Are we hiding our Christianity? Are we following what God has said? Yes, we've been Christians for a uh, hundred decades. But the question is that, what are we doing? What am I doing to show that, oh, Lord, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I confess that I wasn't uh, this, I wasn't, I didn't do it the right way, I didn't uh, show love to my brother, my sister, my father, my children, and all of those things. But now I confess, please forgive me. I will, from now on, give me your Holy Spirit to enable me to overcome this so that the next time somebody slaps me, I'm going to say, God bless you and walk away gradually and not say that, well, because of what you did, I'm going to retaliate, you know. Or because I'm stronger. No. God says, forgive. Forgive one another. Bless them. You know, who curse you. That's, that's a, it's a commandment. It's not an option that God says, this is what we are supposed to do. So as we uh, have just gone over the Christian doctrine, it requires us so prayerfully read the verses that we've been informed. We've been told, speak evil of no man or woman. And speaking evil, we all know what it means. We don't have to uh, go deep into it to get, you know, it's everyone. Yes, people do things against us. Yes, so our family, our friends, and whatever, they may do things. Again, but God says, speak evil, don't retaliate, don't uh, even tell somebody that because of what this person did, I wouldn't do this. Those things, that's not Christian. So may the Lord help us so that truly we'll look at God's word and say, oh Lord, uh, this is true, this is correct. Please help me, please strengthen me. I have a neighbor, I have a family who is always causing me to do and use bad language to do all this thing, but please help me so that I don't do that anymore. And I see my brother, my sister, my father, my husband, and I'm angry. No, help me so that I don't do that anymore. Because when you look at it, who is causing us to do all these things that we're not supposed to do? Yes, Satan, the devil, the enemy. He doesn't want anything good in us. And so he will instigate us into, yes, uh, yes, you, you have a right to be angry. You have a right to uh, not do that. Don't talk to the person. No, that is not Christian. That is not the Christian way. And unfortunately, many people have accepted so many false uh, religion that it has come into the Christian uh, world. No, it shouldn't be. May the Lord help us so that the Christian doctrine that God has given to us, let us read it on our own. Read it again. Find other applications, uh, other ver versions, and you will see that it is already there. It's not that any pastor, any, uh, pastor is just trying to say something. No. It is God's word. And God is using the pastor to remind all of us this is what God says. And so may God help us. May God bless what he has already done in us. 
so that all those things, negative things, things that are of the devil, Satan, we will refuse them. No, 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 no. Even when somebody says, oh, you know it is true that... Mm -mm, no. All the things that we have to do, it has to be positive. Glorifying God, blessing God in all things. We thank God again for what he has brought to our attention and we continue to trust the Lord that he will increase our understanding of his word to glorify him, to praise him for everything that we have heard today. Let us kneel in prayer.